Good afternoon everybody. Today is Sunday, June 26th, and it has been well over a year since I have posted any type of movie um, with me talking. Well, that is because I kind of lost my GoPro for a while, and of course last year we were so busy and so shorthanded, I didn't really have the opportunity to shoot any even 10 minute long movies but i wanted to show everybody something i've had a few comments on instagram hey where have you been what's going on and as you can see this is what is going on so um at the end of last summer i purchased the uh, triaxle this excavator and i bought the trailer brand new from best line equipment in allentown so i have uh basically switched over to all residential excavating. I no longer do uh, lawn mowing and landscaping. In fact, I don't have any employees anymore. I sold all of the equipment, kept the Bobcats, and purchased this. So I searched for months and months and months for this exact excavator. 2019 ECR 145 EL. It has the long arm. It came with a coupler. It came with the thumb. I wanted the blade and I wanted the street pad tracks so I could travel on the asphalt. I wanted one um, with relatively low hours. This one was a little higher than I wanted. I got it with 1900 hours. It now has 2100 hours, but that's okay because the price was right. It popped up on Machinery Trader. It was in Michigan. Uh, it popped up Sunday night. I had it bought and paid for by Monday morning. So all around uh, just an awesome machine. Um, I haven't really had any problems with it except recently the air conditioning or the AC compressor went bad. So we've just replaced that and it's still acting a little funny, but I think we'll get the bugs worked out. Um, very clean machine. I always vacuum my machines out. Everything is clean in the cab. Volvo has probably the nicest seat out there. Um, they have a really nice screen, and this is an older machine. The new screens now have a much, much larger screen, but um, thumb, two-speed, heated air ride seat. I'm going to tint the windows. This thing folds up and folds down to get in and out easier. Just, a, just an all-around awesome machine, and if you're seeing this right here, this is something new. We are slowly making the transition from PA Winter Services to PA Excavator Services. Uh, the counterweight was very, very scratched when I got it. Uh, you can see someone kind of rammed in the concrete, but we have it all repainted. Uh, it looks really nice. I really like the machine. And over here, 2021 Eager Beaver, 20 ton trailer. 48,000 GVW, it hauls a true 40,000 pounds. I searched and I searched and I searched for a used equipment trailer, and in the Northeast, you're not gonna find one that's not all rusted out. So I decided to buy a new one. New tires, new suspension, new brakes, new deck, new paint. Just made sense to go with a new one, even though it was too much money, and with the federal excise tax, they really hammered me, but it is what it is. And then, of course, that takes us to this lovely, lovely unit. Uh, I thought long and I thought hard about making the switch from my single axle Sterling to a bigger truck. And the problem was, or is still, all these trucks are very, very, very expensive. Um, you know, they have high miles or they're rusted or they're just too much money. But I found this one uh, in Hamburg, Pennsylvania, about 45 minutes from me. And I uh, went out and looked at the truck, sat on it a few weeks, we agreed on a price, and I've had it uh, for quite some time now. I got it um, almost a year ago, I want to say. Of course, the first two or three months of owning this truck were definitely difficult. The truck sat for two years, they didn't have a driver, they had the, you know, the you-know-what was going on, so they didn't have work, they didn't have a driver. Um, so I had a lot of problems with the truck in the beginning. It actually got towed twice, but we have all the issues sorted out. Um, some of the negatives about this truck are the bed, 
the bed is pretty worn and it's actually a lot worse on the other side. Uh, it should be repainted, which I'm going to get to. I keep saying that, but I'll get to it. Um, it's 450 horsepower. It's Mercedes Benz. It does have new tires. Um, the reason this is so ugly is because we actually just recently, uh, two weeks ago, spun these around. They were inners and we made them outer so this was never polished but this is going to go in to get polished um, next month uh, i put a new grill on the truck the grill was all cracked and smashed um, this side is a little bit worse but it is what it is I'll show you the inside 8ll transmission the truck has air conditioning it works okay uh, i added these minimizer floor mats 333,000 miles the truck has an engine with 93,000 miles on it so definitely nothing special it's just a freight liner but the price was right air i cab as you can hear air tailgate the tarp was on it the tires on the back are recaps but they are good tread the bed's starting to rust on this side worse than the other i did have the hitch put on by em cuts in whitehall um, they had the air to the rear, but they had no hitch. So I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to keep the truck. I'm going to try to keep it uh, for this year yet for 2022 and then maybe look for something newer next year. I'm not going to buy a new one. A new one is a quarter million or more. I changed the exhaust tip, put a nice chrome one on there. Um, but my next triaxle will definitely, definitely, definitely have a high lift gate or a swinging tailgate so I could load and unload boulders and stumps because I've been doing a lot of boulder walls. I've been doing a lot of um, stumping and it would really be nice to not completely destroy my tailgate every time I try to dump boulders. The problem is around here, nobody wants to haul the boulders or if they do, they want a lot of money to haul them. So this is a little bit of an update the excavator did not come with a bucket. I went and bought this 36 inch bucket out in Wommelsdorf. Uh, the thumb was on it. Um, the, the decals were not on it. I had to put them on. So I'm not exactly sure what the story is, but cameras all the way around. And like I said, having the street pads is really awesome. The other good thing about this new big trailer I can haul the Bobcats, I have both 770s still, and I can haul the Mini Excavator, which is right over here. All in one trip, that was a, a big thing for me because making these double trips on this little trailer, it was just absolutely pointless, especially with fuel being so expensive. But here's the smaller Volvo. This is two and a half years old now. Um, it is a great little machine actually a, a great big mini excavator if you want to call it that this machine now has 392 hours and this floor and cab is just as clean as the other machine i cannot stand lazy operators who don't clean their equipment i can't stand sitting in filth and because i own it it's going to be clean here's the t770 Tucked away in this storage container I bought. I have an X mark of my own now since we're no longer doing commercial mowing. And in my garage is the 550 and the other A770. All the snow removal equipment has been sold except for the Quattro right here, which was new two years ago. Uh, I no longer have any employees, so I plow just one parking lot by myself. Gone are the days of all those snow removal videos of big parking lots running all over the Lehigh Valley trying to get everywhere in a snowstorm. I made it easy on myself this year and I'm not sure what this winter will hold because I definitely have plenty of work for the rest of the year. So uh, maybe what I'll do here very quickly is set you up and start this machine up here and you can watch me swing around. What do you guys think? Should we do that? Or is that silly? Let's see what we can do here. I'll just give it a quick start and swing around.
there it is you guys get the idea pretty basic but uh really powerful volvo has the uh tracking pedal i'm sure some others do as well but forward back without steering i really like that feature um i rented a volvo for uh a year or two from steve neal and he and i talked about it and he helped me uh into a machine like this so i mean just look at this thumb i'm almost six feet tall let's just call it six feet tall and the thumb stands another two feet tall over top of me when you have the bucket on the ground so that's it this is a 11 minute long video i just wanted to give you a little bit of update 